In today's episode, you will learn how to make a three-phase transformer load monitoring system using Arduino Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and Blink application. With the help of Node MCU module and Blink application, the load on each phase, red, yellow and blue, can be monitored in real time from anywhere around the world using your cell phone. This is the second version of the three-phase transformer load monitoring system. While in the first version, I designed an application in VB.NET and used this application to monitor all the three phases of the three-phase transformer prototype model. The transformer wiring soldering the ACS712 current census connections soldering and interfacing is already explained in very detail. For the best understanding, I recommend you should watch my first tutorial on three-phase transformer load monitoring system and then you can resume from here. As in this episode, I will only explain the modifications which are Number 1. Node MCU interfacing with Arduino Number 2. Node MCU programming Number 3. Blink application designing And number 4. Testing Let's get started! Components used in this project are number one, three single phase type transformers, number two, PVC strip connectors, number three, connection wires, number four, Arduino, number five, ACS712 current sensors. As I have a very detailed tutorial on how to use the ACS712 current sensor for overload monitoring and protection, in which I explain the sensor and programming. For the best understanding, I recommend you should also watch this tutorial. Because in this tutorial, I'm not going to explain the basics which I have already covered. The link is given in the description. Number 6. 300 Watt Bulbs and Holders Number 7. Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi Module Number 8. 7805 Voltage Regulator the left leg is the input, middle one is the ground while the right leg is the output. Number 9. LED. Number 10. 330 ohm resistor and finally number 11. DC female socket. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the circuit diagram which I used in version 1 which I have already explained in very detail. These are the three ACS712 current sensors connected with analog pins A1, A2 and A3. These are the three phases coming from the transformers. These are the three bulbs connected with red, yellow and blue. Arduino calculates the load and then sends the values to the computer application. While this is the modified circuit diagram, in which node MCU is used. This is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. Two 470 microfarads capacitors are connected at the input and output of the regulator. This is the 330 ohm resistor connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor, while this is the DC female power jig where we can connect a 12 volt adapter or battery. The output of the 7805 regulator is connected with the VIN pin of the node MCU module while the ground is connected with the ground. Connect the TX pin of the node MCU module with the RX pin of the Arduino and connect the RX pin of the node MCU module with the TX pin of the Arduino. And also make sure you connect the ground pin of the node MCU module with the ground pin of the Arduino. So this is the only modification that uh, I made in the second version. As you can see, all the connections are exactly the same as explained in version 1. The red, yellow, blue and neutral wires are connected with the PVC strip connector. As you can see, I am using the same connections. The only modification that I made is the addition of the Node MCU module and a 5 volt regulated power supply 
which is based on the LM705 voltage regulator. This time I am powering up the Arduino and NordMCU module using a 12 volt adapter. While with this PVC strip connector, two 20 volt AC 100 watt bulbs are connected. This is the 5 volt regulated power supply as explained in circuit diagram. The output of the regulated power supply which is 5 volt is connected with the VN pin of the node MCU module. And the ground of the power supply is connected with the ground of the node MCU module. The TX and RX pins of the node MCU module are connected with the RX and TX pins of the Arduino. The ground of the node MCU module is connected with the ground of the Arduino. What rest of the connections are exactly the same as explained in version 1 of the three-phase transformer load monitoring system using computer application. Now let's make the Blink application. First of all open the Blink application. Click on the new project. Write the project name. Click on choose device and select node MCU. And make sure the connection type is set to Wi-Fi. Then click on the create button and authentication token will be sent on your email ID. Simply copy and paste it in the programming. Click on the screen and search for the terminal and edit. Click on the terminal to open the terminal settings. Set the terminal name. Click on the pin and select virtual pin V3. And activate the add new line. Our basic application setup is completed. Now let's discuss the Arduino and Node MCU programming. This project is based on two programs. This program is written for the Arduino while this program is written for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The Arduino program is exactly the same as explained in version 1. I didn't even change a single line. Let's discuss the Node MCU programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the Node MCU board and you also install a driver for the USB UART. I have a separate video on this. The link is given in the description. This is the authentication number which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password. Widget terminal, terminal on virtual pin V3. String my string. The my string variable is used to store the complete message. Character R data. The variable R data is used to receive each and every character which is sent serially by the Arduino. Then I define three variables L, M and N of the type string. These variables will be used to store the values of red, yellow and blue phases. Serial dot begin 9600. Activates the serial communication 9600 is the baud rate. Since a value is a user defined function and is executed every one second. If serial dot available equals equal zero. If node MCU module hasn't received any data from the Arduino, then simply keep executing these two functions. If serial dot available greater than zero, if node MCU module has received data, then simply read the serial port and add each character with my string to make a complete message. This condition makes sure that the entire message is received. The entire message which is received is split using the getValue function which is a user defined function. 
each value is then stored in a variable L, M, and N. These values are basically the RMS values of the red, yellow, and blue phases. At the end, we empty the string for new data and use a delay of half second. Since a value is a user-defined function and is used to send the text messages and values to the blink terminal. Get value is a user-defined function and it takes three arguments as the input, data, separator, and the index. This function is used to split the string message using comma as the delimiter. These programs can be downloaded from my blog page. The links are given in the description. I have already uploaded these programs. Let's watch this project in action. As you can see, the transformers and all the other components are powered up and I'm ready to open my Blink application. As you can see, I can receive the values. For the demonstration purposes, I will only put load on the blue face, due to which you will see an increase in the value of the blue face. So this is how easily the Node MCU module can be used to monitor the red, yellow and blue phases from anywhere around the world. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.